However, there's a thing this morning on social which Marlon and I found, well, found, saw, it's out there, about people interacting with cheetahs on a kill. Now, I don't know if the kill was real or if it was placed there for them, but the scenario is cheetahs on a kill. How many cheetahs were in that shot? Two, three? It's like four. Four, mom and youngsters. So mom and youngsters cheetah on a kill and people literally within touching distance of these things. Now, I'm sure this is set up. Now, I've got to... I think there's huge ethical issues with this because that is not wildlife photography. Come on. That is, that's a setup scene which, number one, compromises the animal. Number two, it creates a false impression for a lot of you people out there watching these things. You look at that and you say, oh, I want to do that. No, you don't. You don't want to do that. That is not viewing the animal in its natural behavior. That is compromising the animal. If that animal, what if you cheese do? They hiss or they growl at you the entire time that you, you have intruded on their space and that's wrong. It shouldn't be happening. So that got me going. And then while we're on this, sure, breathe. <laughs> Marlon's smiling at me. Okay, back. Is a lot of people are posting stuff, hashtag wildlife photographer. First of all, you guys need to understand how to use hashtags correctly. If I use a hashtag wildlife photography, I'm telling you as the person looking at it that this is real wildlife photography, right? To have animals crawling all over you, snakes and near cats and whatever, whatever else they use, right? You've got these animals crawling all over you and you're calling it wildlife photography. It's false impressions. The real world of wildlife photography does not work like that. I mentioned this in the past. Wildlife photography is you should be able to go into a scene, photograph that animal doing what it does naturally and leave without them even knowing you're there. That's what it should be. Now, is that, it's, it's, there's more and more of this happening. It's the sensationalism bullshit. It's complete rubbish. And people are building names for themselves based on that. I don't know. Maybe I'm old school. I mean, Marlon, yes, no? Come sit here. Watch this. Sit with me here. Okay. How's it, guys? Yeah, so I pretty much agree with Jerry. You know, like for me, um, it's, it's very sad to see the way that a lot of this is going. And exactly what he, what he mentioned, it's sensationalism. It's trying to get people to like your photo, to try to show people how... More likes. You know, yeah, no, but it is. It's, 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 it's trying to get, build a following. And for me, I'd rather not build a following. I'd rather have 100 followers and, and stick to, to what I'm about than, than sit with 15,000 followers and have um, this just fake world all around me. Um, mm. You know, you're trying to promote photo safaris and you're trying to just sell gear and you're trying to, uh, you know, to do all these things, but... Um, not you know, like that. And, and also, it, it, it just comes down to people then seeing you interacting with wildlife in this manner, standing next to elephants, you know, conducting an interview while two elephants are right next to you, um, and not, not, not always portraying it that these elements, elephants are 100% tame. And, and even if you do, there's people that are going to come out on safari and get out of their car in Kruger because this person does it, now they feel they yes. can do it as well. And accidents happen this way, and I just don't feel like that's the way <clears throat> I will never go, and I don't feel people should buy into that, because it's not real. It's not the no. way that, that, that it's intended to be. Exactly. So See, cool. wildlife photography is about what? It's about wildlife. Yeah? yeah? And what we do as private guides, as photo safari hosts, and I'm speaking for Wild Eye here, yes? Yeah. It's about the wildlife. It's about the safety it's about the future, it's about the conservation of the wildlife. To have those things crawl all over you is creating the wrong impression. I would rather go on a trip, and I say this again, I would rather go on a trip making sure that that animal I'm photographing is safe, out of my way, rather than getting the shot. Yeah. That, that's it. And also to add to that, um, one of my, probably my main mentors, a guy growing up, is a guy called Alan Yowitz, and there's a couple of things that he always um, hammered into us, and, and something that I really took to heart. The one is when you, when you approach wildlife, Jerry said it earlier, but as a guide, when I'm walking, especially on foot, in a vehicle it's tough to do, but when I'm on foot with wildlife, ideally if you can approach an animal, view it with your guests, have an amazing experience and leave without that animal, animal ever knowing you were there, wind direction, uh, movement, sounds, uh, scent, all these kind of things, um, that, that's 100% awesome, goal achieved, especially stuff like lion and, and elephant and stuff like that. Sometimes. It varies, but the idea is to, to view and to photograph an animal doing what it would have done if you weren't there. The moment you get its attention or get charges <coughs> and all these things, you've lost the plot. Absolutely. And the second thing is to, to always approach animals in, um, you see a lot of stuff now with guys walking around, around with rifles and taking yeah. chances and stuff, but the second thing is you always approach an animal 
as if you didn't have a rifle and that mindset. And these two things stick by me. And the basis of it is simple. View, animal in the, view animals in their natural state. Photograph animals in their natural state. Yes. Don't go in to disturb them. Don't go in to, 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 to try and have something crawling over your... It's, wrong. It's, it's just not the way it should be. Mm. So, let's sum that up. <laughs> I don't care if you need to get a sponsorship from bags, tripods, cameras, because you've got shit climbing all over you. It's wrong. I implore you guys, when you go out and do wildlife, keep it, you mentioned it last time, keep it real. Make it about wildlife, not about you. And that, for me, sums it up. Yeah? Pretty much. All right. Awesome. We're now going to... safari. <laughs> He's <laughs> off on safari. I'm going to have a cup of coffee now and breathe and not look at social again because there's very strange things out there. We'll be back next week. My name is Jerry. My name is Marlon. We're from Wild Eye. I'll see you next time.